hello guys welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping back you're most definitely welcome please do not forget to like and click on the subscribe button today what i'm going to be letting you guys in is you can make extra cash if you're a fashion designer it doesn't always have to be just you sew and you you know send off i'm going to be showing you different ways and different branches in fashion designing where you can make extra money if you're interested in this video please keep watching and do not forget to give me a thumbs up thank you so much and let's get right into the video so the first topic i'm going to be discussing on is on fashion styling fashion styling i know someone like oh what's fashion styling it's actually a branch of fashion where you see different stylists you see people who source for outfit for you you okay let me say now like you have an occasion you want to go for okay i want to go for a wedding i want to go for a party or i want to go for you know the red carpet what you really do you don't know who to contact that will make the outfit or can be able to bring that outfit to life or you don't know how to source for fashion accessories you know down from your jewelry your bags you know the purse and and everything you need you know shoes you can actually contact a fashion stylist a fashion stylist will hook you up with a fashion designer you know they'll get you a fashion designer that can be able to interpret the style which they want you to you know to model the clothes they want you to wear they also source for jewelry that will match with the outfit you're wearing you know they also help you with the hair, kind of hair you make you know everything so you make a fashion statement there's some there's not everyone that is good with this if also fashion designers are not good with this that's where a fashion style is coming you contact them and they will help you to bring everything to life as a fashion designer where you can learn on this is if you don't know how to you know to style uh, uh the clients you can always link them up with a fashion stylist that can help them with it or if as a fashion designer you know how to put outfits together from your hair to your shoe to you can also make extra money from it it's not the same this is a different charge learn to segregate or learn to differentiate what your your client is paying for are they paying you to make an outfit let's say be that outfit you are actually charging them for that will be the outfit you're calling it from if they want you, if they want you to style them it's actually extra money you have to pay for you know though you have to for their inconvenience like they'll have to transport themselves you know they'll either if they're in another state or in another state as i'm talking if you're in nigeria you have to pay for their flight you have to pay for their accommodation you have to also pay for for you know you know you cover their cost of you know accommodation their flights their feeding when they are there you also pay them for the work they're going to do for you they will source they will you pay them to help you to source all these things there's some people that don't actually buy this clothes like oh i want to buy them some people actually know how to you know they they merge with fashion designers like okay i want this outfit i want you to bring it to life i'll tag you on my page you get clients you get this there are ways you can leverage on this or so, as a fashion designer always um Look for ways you can make money, not just only sewing and you know. And this is one major aspect or one aspect of fashion designing that people do not really pay attention to. Fashion stylists, they have a lot of fashion style. You just need to. There are a whole lot. You know how to style yourself. I think you should go into fashion style. You don't need to be, you know, just know the basics on how to put A, B, C together, and there you have it. So now let's go to number two second topic i'm going to be talking about is one we are all used to which is teaching um you, there are different ways you can actually teach you can teach online or offline and to teach online all you need to know is you're able to know how to communicate as in how like you don't able to know how to pass knowledge it's not only okay i have the knowledge to pass to people do you know how to pass knowledge because there's people that actually i know how to do this thing but do you actually know how to teach people if you know you don't know how to teach people please don't go around saying oh come and register or come and do this so that you don't get their head messed up if you've ever had a situation where maybe you were in class back then in school and people always come to meet you hey teach me this when you finish and you know how to teach well you know how to deliver i would advise you and you're in this fashion designing or like into this tailoring business i advise you yes why not oh or start a class you know what do you need to teach online bring light you know your camera sharp camera you need your table your space where you'll be able to teach you need a machine to sew you know just basic things you already have and then make sure that you're shooting a clean crepes video and you're able to deliver if you're teaching how to how to write make sure you're teaching how to write well if you're teaching how to just make sure you're explaining to them that's 
be able to know the questions they have in their mind and be able to know how to answer it even before they ask that is actually the basis about teaching all you just need to do is know the craft to be able to teach you just don't go around and say oh i can't teach that no and if you want to teach offline you have to have a, a, a facility that's what i mean is you have to have a space at least let it be like a shop or four corner shop like let it be a, 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 a space where um people can easily move around you know you have the basic equipment you don't you don't just have like one sewing machine to yourself you have at least the one that when you teach them something they have a spare where they can go and practice what you have you have taught them make sure you give them assignments make sure you work on them not only you have uh it's only when a customer brings the clothes then you teach them on that that thing that the customer that's not good that's not that's not being a good teacher you're they're not they're not there for you because of that client that is there for you, you are they are they are coming to meet you so you teach them what they don't know they let them have a syllabus have a a, a shadow like oh today we are teaching this and let that thing be that teach them and let it be. so once by the time you are teaching them and they're learning more you have you have children unborn, great grandchildren. If you don't, if you pass on rubbish to this generation, they're going to pass on rubbish to your own children. Yet unborn, like that's your. So you make sure that you're passing a ground knowledge. And as a teacher, you need to always upgrade, always learn. All if, if there are new things coming out, go and learn it. It's going to be an advantage to you because you're going to have an advantage over other other. You know fashion tutors and people will keep coming after you every time you open up for that day people will always rush you you don't be rejecting why because you're good so always that there are ways to leverage on this but make sure you're good don't just say oh i know how to sew i can't teach it's not everybody that is a teacher i beg thank you so let's go to number three so the third one i'm going to be talking about is on manual and you know digital illustration yes there are many illustration illustrators out there even on the streets of instagram and facebook you can meet up with them these people you don't just meet them and say oh i uh, you know i want you to sketch this you actually get paid for sketching if you are good with you know drawing either on a piece of pa paper you're good with drawing digitally you can you can make money if you're good with drawing i know how to draw anything like in terms of fashion like is your calling you make money from it you actually make money from it you all you know how to that a lot of tailors i don't know how to draw i for one i'm thankful i know how to draw but i do not just wake up and i learned it i took classes you can take classes to learn how to draw and then you make money from it there are a lot of people out there that teach you can just register with some of them learn how to do this there are a lot of people that are looking for people who even with computers that's what i mean digital you can learn how to draw sketch online bring it to life it's not only nigerian clients that will meet you you can have people from outside that will tell you oh they will explain to you oh i want a peplum this 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 that 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 they'll explain everything then you sketch it and bring it to life then you show them wow this is what you want you pay them you have a, a fee where you discuss you pay okay for per sketch is it ten thousand people make money from this yes it's something you should also look at so it's not only the different aspect of this fashion design where you can make money so this fashion illustration is also part of it and i know i hope if you have the skill of drawing i hope you leverage on it because really it's cool cash another topic i'm going to be talking about which is the first one is on pattern makers you know pattern drafters you know there's a lot of people that don't know how to draft they have tailors that sometimes they know how to do it but to them it takes up their time and um, you know they don't really have time for it they just want a pattern drafter that will just make it they actually have people that actually do these things though i've not really seen anyone in nigeria that do it when it comes to digital aspects they work on their computers you know and then you just print print it out and you have a standard you know a size six a size seven a size five a size a whole lot of sizes all you just have to do is just place on your on your on your fabric and you cut it out and you're already sewing there's a people that don't have that patience for it seriously like you make so much money from me this pattern makers pattern drive, even though it's not yet you know in vogue but i know there are a lot of tailors are wishing that hey i wish i had someone who can just come and draft this thing like i'll just give you the style you draft it send it over to me let me just place it and cut and, and I'm, I'm i'm moving ahead so another topic i'm going to be discussing now is let me say the fifth topic here is on uh, fashion photography a lot of people call themselves photographers but they don't know how to take pictures when in terms of fashion how will i explain it you see a lot of photographers when you ask them take me a good picture they just focus on your face and making sure the light is on your body but they don't know how to capture the angles of the outfit 
the most important reason why I, a fashion designer, will be calling you, a photographer, to come and take me is because I want you to capture the angles of this clothes. Capture the clothes in a very beautiful way so I can get clients who will patronize me. There are not a lot of people that do that. Few people who do that well are like, you have um, official photo freak. He's very good with his job. You see a lot of um, designers calling them. So I want you to know if you can leverage on this. You don't have to be, oh, I'm a fashion, um, I'm a photographer who takes... Um, maternity you know that people that leverage on maternity shoots there are people that um leverage on baby you know like taking pictures of 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 um, newborn babies you are why can't you leverage on fashion designing you can leverage on it a lot of fashion designers are looking for this a lot of fashion designers keep complaining that um, photographers don't know how to take good shots of their outfit they don't know how to take good angles of their if you can leverage on it if you're good at taking good great pictures please i'm gonna get camera you make money from this like so if you know how to take angles people will look for you what you need to do is just make sure you're putting your works out there let people see you and they'll contact you another topic i'm going to be talking about which is the fifth the sixth one sorry pardon me is ready to wear yes already a lot of people already know about ready to wear i mean it's common yes but do you know the different aspects of ready to wear and um people, a lot of people still call it made, made on order ready to wear that me, i'm talking about is who specialize in oh i just want to make in nigeria here they specialize in oh i want to be making creating different nice styles based on african prints you see them making maybe plaid dress or something but they just specialize basically on african prints and easy go out wear that you can wear to maybe the beach to hang out or something you can leverage on different aspects of it you can leverage on oh i want to be creating office wear oh i want to be creating outfit that you can wear to the church oh i want to be creating outfit that you can wear for you know different for the beach for this you can you can leverage pick one and leverage on it because sometimes it's not every time people have an occasion they want to go for that they'll bring out before if, if you feel you have a lot of layback time why don't you work on a ready to wear line you can hire two or three tailors that are specified to sewing outfits based on your ready to wear line but the thing is you have to have a passion for it you have to be like good at this maybe anytime you dress up yourself you say you want to go for this people always admire that thing if you see people always admire a particular style of your clothing Pick out that thing and expand it, broaden it, and also reach out a lot of people. You make cool money from it, too. Honestly speaking, you make cool, cool cash from it. So I advise you to think about it. Think about it, uh, um, it, it, an aspect of ready to wear that you want to leverage on that you get cool cash from. So let's get on to the next topic. So the next one I'm going to talk about, which is the seventh topic, is book outfits a lot of people already know about bespoke outfits so talking about bespoke is not really um a tip because people already know it but i'm i want to explain to you that a different aspect of this bespoke when people say what is bespoke bespoke means someone giving you an outfit make this clothes for me you can leverage on different aspects you can leverage on oh i want to leverage on bridals like i want to make them um just wedding wears you can say oh i want to leverage on uh ashwabies like oh only people that um ladies are want clothes for ashwabies you know to go out for you can also leverage on ready to wear carpet all these carpet wears you know carpet wears are not normal clothes you make clothes that are extraordinary people clothes that people will not see again those kind of things you can leverage on the clothes that you'll be like ah, ah, is this is this person in nigeria not that kind of clothes that people, people will be acting like ah. You understand you can leverage on different parts so that when people are thinking of oh i have a wedding they think about you or oh, when i have i have a ready to wear carpet they think about you oh i have this they think about you be known for something try not to be here there 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 sometimes it, it doesn't help in productivity when you're productive is when you're, you're you're working on something and you're trying to perfect that particular thing for a long time if you want to be sewing wedding wedding board ground gowns let it be that be sewing wedding you know wedding dresses like wedding dresses when they think of oh i have a wedding it's you they call when i think oh i have a reception like when you think of reception dresses some of the people that come to your mind you hear vicky james potential styling am i right yes i am right because they have leverage on that they are into bespoke wears but they don't really they don't really attend to ashwabi people except you can pay her price that's what i'm saying leverage pick what you want to you know when, you, when you're thinking of oh ready to wear carpet that is like oh i want to be outstanding you think of tiana empire styling you understand what i'm saying about 
I just want to explain this thing well so that you understand. So try and be known for something in that field of bespoke so that you people don't get confused. When they think of, oh, I have this, they think about you. You get me? So if you enjoyed this video to now, please leave me a comment to tell me if you are enjoying the video. Yeah, let's get right into it. And don't forget to subscribe. The topic I'm going to be talking about, I, I'm guessing is number eight. <laughs> is selling of fabrics guys yes as a fashion as a fashion designer or as a tailor you can decide to sell fabrics but now when i when it comes to selling of fabric no you also everything is leveraging the only thing i'll be talking about is pulling down to which aspect do you want to be known for you can decide to be ah, i want to be selling only lace only lace people will know you when they think of lace they call you they want to can say oh i want to be selling only ankara that's as part of your business you're doing. Anytime people are looking for, oh, who sells good quality and car, they think of you. You can say, oh, I want to sell crepe. Then people think of, ah, who has quality crepe? Who has quality crepe? They think of you. You understand? Everything has to do with leverage. You can't say, oh, I sell fabric. What kind of fabrics do you sell? You can't, sometimes it's not good to be here, there. The people get confused. You know, sometimes, and it ties your money down because what are, if you are starting, you can say, okay, let me touch and let me touch this, let me touch that. But notice the one people go out for for more for you. It might be that you just have good eyes for Ankara fabrics, but you don't know how to identify quality, maybe crepe or lace. You notice know people are always coming back for you. For if it's that one, you can decide to drop the other ones and focus on Ankara. Same thing with lace. People are like, oh, this girl has eyes for good lace. And maybe you have other things that people are not patronizing you the other side, but it's always lace they are calling you for. Drop the other ones and invest all your money on lace. You understand what I'm saying? Sell materials. You can also go deep, deep, deep into tailoring stuff, you know, scissors, thread, and all these other things. If, depending on the location of where your shop is or where you're, you know, where you sell things, people might, might sew in that area and they don't have like easy access to all those things you can decide okay why don't i sell this to make extra cash you can sell all those things that you're also your na your tailors around you they might also need it so why not sell it now and make extra the main goal is to make extra money is to make money that is the main goal make money don't say ah uh, you are my mm -mm. you want you want, you want it right i have it you take you you exchange cash you collect what you want and you go so now to the next topic the next thing i'm going to be talking about is fashion croquis there are a lot of people that oh i don't know how to draw you understand i don't want to call someone to draw for me i am i i don't know how to draw like the body this thing that i can use as a guideline so i can draw what i need there are people that actually sell sketch pads with already drawn croquis on it that when i mean i mean they call it croquis but what, what the croquis means is a body figure a figure that emulates a human a human form where you then dress it up with the outfit you want that's what a croquis is so the people that actually sell it you can if you type on sketchbook the ng they sell it so there are a lot of people who actually are already leveraging on this all you do is you buy it you have it they even teach you some you know how to draw some things in their uh, in their sketch pad and then you have it so that whenever a if um you have a client you can able to shoot up a nice sketch that is if you're not able to find a fashion illustration that illustrator that can bring what you want to life there are people that sell fashion this thing and if you are good with drawing this is another way you can leverage you know you can always also make create your own sketch pad sell and make money people will buy from you there are a lot of tailors looking for people with this kind of books where you can you know it's, it's another part of serere now and you see a client's come you sketch on the decision you're like ah wow we will be oh this person will go charge me five nine and it's that kind of thing it's also packaging everything is packaging so you can look for people who sell this or if you're looking for you um you're good with this thing make money from this it's a cool cash you know get people to you know you sketch you sketch it you print it out and you sell it out for people to you know come and buy so the last topic i'm going to be talking about there are a whole lot of topics but i won't put everything in one video plus these are the ones i know for now the last one i'm going to talk about is bidding yes if you're a bidder or more everybody is bidding right now this is a good time to make good money when i mean good money i mean good money a lot of people that are looking for bidders people that will bid on their clothes check like vicky jane but then a lot of them they bid as a bidder as you make money you know you bid on clothes all you need to do is learn take a skill on how to learn how to bid and you'll make money from this thing people are making money from bidding 
like as and i mean seriously even as a fashion designer now as i am if you come to me you want to sew clothes and it has beading if i know how to bead which i do i will charge you separate bidding is separate for my the work once i finish sewing the clothes if you can't pay my charge i'll give it to you go and meet a bidder that will bid it yes as also an aspect of fashion designing you don't merge everything together this is a, ch a charge for bidding this is charge for this, this is charge for this you merge everything by the time you merge everything together you're making cool cash so there are a lot of things i really want to talk about i even want to have my on this but i don't want the video to be so 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 long because <laughs> i know you guys are already tired but if you watch to the real to the to the end you're the real mvp and i know that you really want to make money for yourself i hope with these tips of mine you can be able to make good money for yourself this year you can think of or pick one or two things you can work on which you have strength in it work on it brush it up and start making money for yourself i love you guys see you in my next video please don't forget to like or like this video comment on any other topic you want me to teach you know i got you and i'll see you in my next video bye don't forget to subscribe i love you